Uh, two big issues brewing for Wall Street. Hurricane Harvey, we know, threatening to wreak havoc on the heart, in the very heart of America's energy sector. This as investors brace for the upcoming battle between Capitol Hill and President Trump over the budget, debt ceiling, you name it, tax reform, health reform. Well, my next guest says, maybe it's time to invest abroad, away from all the turmoil, uh, to help you weather the storm here. Let's bring in ETF Trend CEO Tom Lydon. Tom, thank you for joining us. I read your notes. You like some European ETFs. I think Europe, and I think wouldn't touch it with a 10-foot pole. Why should investors <laughs> be interested in Europe? Yeah, well, uh, you know, a lot of geopolitical risk and mm -hmm. also this political banter, as you say, Ashley, is diverting investors' attention away from the market, but those that didn't take the summer off really have been rewarded. Uh, fundamentals look strong, but valuations are high compared to Europe and other developed countries. A 14% P.E. overseas compared to 17 uh, here in the U.S., I mean, not, not that bad. And especially when you look at European or even getting to emerging markets where the P.E. in emerging markets is around 11. So here's a couple things. Number one, make sure you're diversified overseas. A couple ways to do that are through ETFs as we had record-breaking numbers flowing into ETFs this year, smashing the records from last year but also understand currency risks. So Deutsche Bank, for example, has a couple X-trackers, the MSCI hedged currency uh, IFA ETF, where you can not only invest in developed nations, mm -hmm. but also if the dollar now rebounds, as we've had a 15% decline in the last four or five months, we're probably going to see that as the Fed might Inch, in interest rates back up. And then, again, for bargains out there, emerging markets have the feel that it's risky, not the risk that we saw 10 years ago. Great valuations today. They also have an emerging market ETF where, with a PE of around 11, it's a good idea to diversify overseas. That's very interesting. We haven't had someone say that, but we do know the global economy is growing. Europe's improving. Even Italy, for that matter, is showing signs of growth. Um, but back in this country, uh, Tom, what would you like? You like these ETFs, these basket of shares. On this side of the pond, what do you like? Well, again, you can't argue with large caps, number one. Mm -hmm. Number two, technology. And uh, there, there's one ETF that not only embraces technology, but embraces online retail, uh, EMQQ. It's not just in the U.S., but also overseas. If you take a look at it, it's only been around for a little over a year. But if you see what's going on in retail brick and mortar and how they're getting decimated, all the money that's moving online, here's a company that really has created an index of some of the best online retailers. But not only that, there's some huge growth in that area as well. As a money manager, Tom, and you look at this storm coming in and then taking aim at Texas, is there anything you can do as a money manager to perhaps protect yourself in light of what this storm could do? Well, obviously, we have uh, concerns about oil, concerns mm -hmm. about the rigs. But if you look at the refiners, so here's another area. You can actually invest in refineries through uh, an ETF, and the ticker is... Uh, crack, C-R-A-K, which is the crack spread between the crude that comes in and the refined oil that comes out. There's going to be more pressure on these refiners during times of pressure like this. So take a look at that as an energy alternative during times of natural disasters and that type of thing. Uh, getting to the politics in, in, in Washington, we talked about the turmoil and that's why you were looking towards Europe, but if we can get some of the president's uh, agenda in place, tax cuts, deregulation, uh, infrastructure bill, can, are you planning now to try and take advantage of what that could mean to some stocks that could take off if we get these things in place? Well, if, if you look at the major indices, Ashley, I mean, this is really key. A lot of people were warning in May go away because those are the times when we see market corrections. We haven't seen that. Uh, and, uh, earnings, 75% uh, of uh, earnings announcement have beat expectations. So rather than diverting uh, to certain sectors, and there are some great infrastructure ETFs, right. look at the major indices like the S&P 500, but don't be over allocated to large cap. Good There's some great advice. ETFs that mention mid and small.